So yesterday we talked about Eva Marcel not returning to Real Housewives of Atlanta. And today I've got a little bit more tea on who will be returning and who's still hanging in limbo. Let's talk about it. You are now tuned in to Beautiful Soul Speaks, where we feature some straightforward conversation on political and social news, reality show recaps, and a whole lot of conversation about our favorite celebrities. This podcast was created to simply chat about what's happening in the world around us. The intent is not to be mean or malicious, but to remain informed on the more serious topics and to just have a little fun discussing the craziness that surrounds our favorite celebrities. So grab yourself a drink and a snack, sit back and relax, and enjoy the conversation. Hey, my beautiful souls, welcome back to another episode to the channel. I am your girl, your host, Beautiful Soul. And yesterday we talked about Eva Marcel putting out a statement exclusively through the Jasmine brand and her announcing that she will not be returning for season 13 of Real Housewives of Atlanta. We pretty much knew that over here on this channel, being that a source had tipped me off a few tipped me off a few months ago as to the goings ons and the shakeups with um, the cast of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Right now, we've got our eye on Cynthia Bailey because when I came in with that information that the source provided, it was also stated that Cynthia would not be returning as a cast member for season 13. Some of you guys have noticed over on um, her on her social media pages, specifically her Instagram, the Real Housewives of Atlanta tag has been removed. Now, I went over and checked out Cynthia's Instagram account and the commenter who made that comment is absolutely right. There is no mention of Real Housewives of Atlanta on Cynthia Bailey's Instagram page, not in the description um, or anything like that. All she mentions is the Bailey Wine Cellar, um, Bailey Room, Seagram's Escapes. She mentions um, the Cynthia Bailey Eyewear and that she's a model. She does not mention, there's no mention of Real Housewives of Atlanta in her bio um, anymore. So maybe that's a sign. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. Will she make an official announcement is it official will she be returning as a friend to the show only time will tell but um tamra tattles has a little bit more information as to the goings on with what's happening with the cast um rumors of pay increases and things like that so i got this article from tamra tattles let's get into this hot tea that she is reporting finally we have the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast for Real Housewives of Atlanta season 13. Letters were overnighted via FedEx and emailed this morning to the cast and their attorney of record. The order of the decisions is important. Um, and she lists Portia, Candy, Kenya, Nini, and Marlo were first and in that order, as I previously shared, that left Tanya, Cynthia, and Eva. Um, Tamara doesn't have information as to whether or not Cynthia was picked up as a cast member or a friend of the show. Um, and uh, Nini apparently was demanding to be in every episode, which is a clause that Bravo is not willing to add for anyone. Um, she's questioning if Nini could do that. So I'm asking, I'm wondering if um, there's rumor out there that Nini is demanding to be in every episode. Tamara is basically saying she couldn't confirm if that was true, if Nini could demand to be in every episode. But Tamara goes on to say, um, I expect everyone to sign on the dotted line for whatever the letter dictates. Portia and Tanya both got a big bump. Kenya received a huge raise. Candy and Marlo both received an adjustment. And Nini got a 5% raise. And Cynthia 
is still unknown. But if you go over to Cynthia's Instagram account, you could read in between the lines and see that there is something happening there. Now, I will say um, I followed Cynthia. I've never really paid attention to what she's had in her bio over on Instagram. But I can say that currently her bio does not mention Real Housewives of Atlanta at all. It does mention all of her other businesses um, that she's involved in. So let's move on with what Tamara is reporting. Um, she says they went back and forth about Cynthia and Eva for hours. Both were, you know, in a bubble on the outskirts. It came down to one or the other. So based on what Tamara Tattles is stating is that it was going to be one or the other. And we all know that Eva has already announced that she will not be returning to the show. Tamara also mentions in this article that Eva wasn't really making that much money. She was only making about $7,500 per episode. Um, and she makes mention and throws a little shade that, uh, you know, that's what happens when your your husband, who is not an entertainment lawyer, um, is your your attorney on file. So if you don't have somebody within the entertainment industry that is a lawyer that can negotiate or uh, move back and forth on your behalf and knows how the industry works, um, Tamara is alluding to that's why she was only making um, about $7,500 per episode. And because of that, um, it would only make uh, good financial sense for Eva to go ahead and let Real Housewives of Atlanta go because she makes much, much more working with Ricky Smiley. Now, you guys let me know that she made um, she talked about not returning to Real Housewives of Atlanta on the Ricky Smiley morning show. I haven't listened to it. Um, the exclusive that the Jasmine brand reported, which is a statement that Eva gave directly to them. That was good enough for me. So um, she goes on. Tamara goes on to say that the story is still developing and um, she anticipates on having more news on the housewives and what's going down for season 13 soon. Now, Tamara Tattles is um, a very popular blogger. Some swear by the information that she puts out. Some says, no, her information is not always credible. I say that uh, we really never know who's returning to the show until we get that cast photo that is put out there. You know, that hot cast photo that all of the ladies show up to take a picture for. Um, that's when I know for sure who's returning to the show <laughs> as a full time, um, you know, Peach holder. That's when I know who's returning to the show. But as of right now, it's rumored that Portia is returning to the show. Kenya is returning to the show. Um, Nene is returning to the show. And um, Candy is returning to the show. Uh, we also are hearing that for sure Tanya and Marlo are returning to the show. Who's on the who's sitting on the outside right now for sure is Cynthia. Is she returning as a full time peach holder or is she returning as a friend to the show or is she returning at all? So there's your updates on what's going on. The rumors that are out there in regards to the housewives. Kenya got a major bump. Nene supposedly only got a five percent increase. Portia and Tanya both got nice raises um, and Marlo and Candy also got um, some type of adjustment. So um, here's what the cast is looking to sh be shaping up as. Are you guys happy with it? Um, there is some talk that they are looking to bring a brand new uh, face to the cast. Who that will be, I don't know. I'm still 
um, kind of like holding out on hoping that Phaedra will return to the show. She is not a brand new face, but it's been a while since we've seen Phaedra. I would love for Phaedra to return as a peach holder to the show. We know rumors are out there. Um, also, the source that sent me that email a few months ago said that Phaedra was being heavily romanced <laughs> to return to the show. Um, but yeah, like I said, we won't know who for certain is returning until that cast member photo, the cast photo comes out. Y'all let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. Are you still okay with Phaedra returning to the show? Do you not want to see Phaedra to return to the show? Who would you love to see as a cast member on this show. Let's have the conversation down in the comment section. Or you can head on over to the hotline. The telephone number to the hotline is area code 470-729-1909. Remember to keep your voicemail under three minutes. After three minutes, the voicemail system will automatically cut you off. And if you're leaving multiple voicemails, I'm probably... It, it, it then lists the voicemails out of sync. So um, it adds just that much more work in order to, you know, get all of what you're trying to say into the video. So please try to keep your voicemail under three minutes and also keep your profanity down to a minimum. If your message is laced with profane language, then I won't be able to use, um, I won't be able to add your, your thoughts and your opinions into the video, okay? Lastly, remember, we are still in a pandemic. Don't forget to leave the house without your masks. Make sure you got your hand sanitizer and you're washing your hands regularly and be sure to continue to self-distance. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. That's all I got. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Yes, yes, yes. The Beautiful Souls Boutique is now open. We've got mugs. We've got tote bags. We've got hoodies. And we've got so much more. The boutique is open 24 hours a day for your shopping pleasure. Go on over and check it out. And as always, I thank you for your support. Thank you for tuning in to Beautiful Soul Speaks. Make sure you subscribe and rate the episode wherever you get your podcasts. To stay connected, you can follow Beautiful Soul on Twitter and Instagram, as well as on YouTube.